Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is a Tuesday, March 7th, and today we are looking more about seeking God. We've talked about the importance of thirsting for his presence, the importance of hungering for righteousness. Now, today we're moving into talking more about seeking his presence. That brings us to Isaiah 55, and I've got my, my Fire Study Bible going here, and um, we're just going to go through 55 as far as we can, and we're going to break down what it means <coughs> and um, just talk through what it means to seek the Lord. It says, come everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and he who has no money, come buy and eat, come buy wine, milk without money and without price. So what this is saying is this is saying that God's grace showers us. It absolutely showers us. It provides us everything we need for survival. And that grace is unmerited favor. It's something that we do not deserve. And when we are in his presence, when we are seeking his presence, we are in that place. When you have that relationship with God, you are in that place. Keep in mind that a relationship goes back and forth. That means... You can't maintain a relationship if you don't talk to them. That's why that prayer closet is so very, very important. Verse two, why do you spend your money for that which is not bread and you your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen diligent to me and eat what is good and delight yourself in rich food. Now, when you think about your basic needs, they are something that has to continuously be supplied. It's constant. It's always going. And God's grace is like that. That supply is constantly there. You do not have to labor to get to it. You just have to go into his presence and get there. Verse three, incline your ear and come to me. Hear that your soul may live and I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. Here's the interesting thing about this verse. It doesn't say anything about talking. It's all about the ear. It's talking about hearing from the Lord. It's about sitting quietly in his presence and being able to bask in that presence and hear from the Holy Spirit. Behold, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. Behold, you shall call a nation that you do not know and a nation that you did not know you shall run to. Because of the Lord your God and of the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. <coughs> now in the Gospels, Jesus made many comments about the kingdom of God and that it wasn't the kind of kingdom that you typically see here on earth. It's a different kind of kingdom. It's that spiritual kingdom. It's all of the people and all of the followers of Jesus Christ together as one kingdom. And then we get to verse 6. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. He's right there waiting for us. The King of Kings, Lord of Lords, creator of the universe is right there waiting to have that time with you. He's waiting to tell you what he wants to tell you. All we have to do is engage in it. We have to respect and have that reverential fear for what that entails and, um, and crave it. Verse seven, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord that he may have compassion on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. So here we start with this verse with this wicked, wicked person. And we find out this person has a chance. This person's not too far gone. That's pointing once again to God's grace. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. There's going to be things we don't understand. There's going to be things we don't get. And we need to be okay with that because he's the one that's all-knowing, not us. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. And we're going to stop right here for today. And what I really want you to point out is, want to point out is, you want to get focused on God's thoughts. You want to get focused on what God is telling you. And that's going to happen in that prayer closet. Go in that prayer closet today and just listen. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.